I only remember doing Pinewood Derby maybe once as a kid, and I think, I'm pretty sure my dad just made it, but he let me color it. Did you ever do it? Yeah, I made my own, but it was not good. I feel like, don't take this as an insult, but I feel like you would have been one of the kids that just would have like stuck wheels on the plain block and just sent that down. I think I did that one year. <laughs> just added some weights to get it to like right ounces. Do you want to redeem yourself? It looks hard. No, you gotta do it. And then I'll do one and we'll see who can make a better one. Yeah, on your marks, it's like Oh, look, Neil's here too. I heard there was a Pinewood Derby. Oh, this is awkward. We've only got two. Oh, okay. Never mind. Go to the store and get one. I'll make quick work of this. <laughs> if only you had one of these when you were uh, 10 years old. Well, since you're using this, I've got to go uh, figure something else out. Get back in. You think he'll notice if I use this? No, nah, he's good. There's no way yours beats mine. <laughs> See? Hold on. You got some camber on the front? Yeah. <laughs> or is it? Both, it's, okay. a, it's way more on this side. Is that's this your for, front? That's for racing, okay? Less okay. friction. <laughs> huh. Less contact with the track. Well, mine went a little quicker than yours, so... Uh, actually made a few other ones. Okay. So. <laughs> I, I hate lick stand of this one. <laughs> well, next step is to uh, turn the water jet on and launch them through it and see who's actually survives. Five bucks on the weenie mobile. Okay, turn the jet on. it just scored it really bad if it was an eighth of an inch shorter of a car i think it would have made it through cut off the back or send it faster you will do it faster Bye. okay two rubber bands almost got it through all the way let's do three and see if that'll uh that'll make it through We're gonna turn things up a little bit with a single rocket motor, just a small one, just to kinda make sure we don't burn the shop down, you know? Uh -huh. Can you even hear me, or are you just okay. nodding? Kind of hard to film and light it at the same time. I don't know if I got anything that's usable. <laughs> that one hit the back end pretty hard. I was thinking we needed to put like three rocket motors on one to make it go fast with those smaller rockets. Um, so when I was thinking that, I went ahead and I bought the biggest one they had. <laughs> <laughs> and to make sure everything stays on here nice and good, I'm gonna put some uh, some eye bolts through there, and then we've got a guide wire that's gonna run down there to make sure it stays on the track. Then we've also set up a bit of a barrier, but I'm still scared. It should be fine. <laughs> I'm I'm scared, but I'm ready. Gonna keep this in my hand. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. Do you ever find yourself trying to escape the little annoyances in life? Yeah.
So I've got a list of new video ideas we can do. With their comfortable noise isolating fit, you can be instantly transported to another galaxy for music, podcasts, or even that weird ASMR thing you're into. I've had this pair for about 18 months now and use them nearly every day and they're working just as great as the day I got them. Raycon was co-founded by Ray J to provide premium wireless earbuds at half the price of competitors. They come in a variety of colors with a variety of fit options to make sure they're comfortable. They give you six hours of playback and are recharged each time you put them back in the case. All that packed in a compact design with no dangling wires or protruding stems. It's no wonder they're loved by celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Mike Tyson. Groovy like a drive-in movie. If you haven't already bought a pair, get yours today for 15% off the regular price by going to buyraycon.com slash waterjet or just click the link in the description. And with a 45 day return policy, you've got nothing to lose. That was best case scenario yeah, that's, and that's it a, happened. Look at the both of the eye hooks are just sitting there on the wire. <laughs> they just ripped right out of the bottom of the car. <laughs> it ripped your front wheels off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> front wheels smashed over the there. top of that little block. Yeah, that's I think that's where I think that's what took the front wheels off. That was scary. You have a cool bait stick. The wheels right by your foot, one of them. Yeah, there's one of the wheels. Wow. Everybody asks <laughs> us why you haven't fired us yet. Why is it? Oh, that was landed right in the water. That's. If it would have landed like in a bucket of oil, like over there, one, then. Well. <laughs> As soon as one of us gets injured, we're done for. <laughs> so our guide wire was pulled tight. We launched that, and now we've found about an extra inch and a half of slack somehow. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to top that in here, so uh, we haven't even run mine yet. So we're just going to take this outside and... See if you go to the moon? Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to... You got the standard wrench battery. <laughs> you, got, you got your wrench battery? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Okay, yeah, you've built enough suspense. You can do it now. Thought I did. It oh! <laughs> I think I lost all my wheels. <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not very experienced. <laughs> and we lost both front wheels. <laughs> uh.